With the growth of mobile gaming and cloud gaming, a lot of companies are starting to make accessories geared towards that sector. And I was walking around Best Buy one day and noticed that JLab had also decided to um, take a stab at it. But let's uh, let's see how they do. So these are the JBuds AirPlay Gaming True Wireless with a low latency gaming mode specifically aimed at mobile gaming. But we'll see. Taking a look inside, of course, we're going to get the charging case for the earbuds with a built-in charging cable. And of course, inside the case are the two earbuds. Aside from the medium tips on the buds, you're also going to get a set of large and small ones as well as a set of medium foam tips. All that aside, you also get a manual. Taking a look at the case itself, it provides you with an extra 24 hours of battery and is made of a vegan leather, though it's probably just pleather and it's covered in a cute gamery print. On the bottom of the case is a USB-A charging cable and it is reversible and built into the case itself. When you plug it in, the lights on the case will light up, indicating its current battery life. Take note that there is no charging port on the case, so try not to break the cable. As you can see right now, there's two blue LEDs on the case glowing, which basically just means that the earbuds are currently charging. As we open up the case, we'll notice that the inside is mostly made of plastic. The top cover also being made of plastic for structure, being held onto by the vegan leather. The cap and the earbuds are held in place with magnets, as you can see here. The other dots are charging contacts. Taking a closer look at the earbuds themselves, they have an AirPod-like design, only more blocky towards the stems. The body is matte black, with JLab's logo in front in blue. On top are LED indicators for pairing statuses, and on bottom we'll find some holes for the microphone, as well as a set on the inside that are used to help with call quality. On the inner side of the stems, you'll find a left and right indicator, so you know which is left and right if you can't figure that out. The nozzle does have a grill to keep it protected from gunky stuff getting in there, and their silicon ring or cush fin is also removable in case you don't like how it feels, or you need to clean it. The cush fin is designed to help keep the earbud in your ear when you're moving around, but it's optional whether you want it or not. Now here's how they're going to look like when you're wearing them. They aren't too big, and they actually look a lot better than AirPods in my opinion, but they still retain that cut-off cable look which I don't like. Now I'm not going to get too deep into the features of this thing because it's basically an upgraded version of the JLab Air Executive. The main difference being that it has dual connect and it has a gaming mode. Dual connect basically means each of these individual earbuds will connect to your device rather than one connecting to the earbud that's connecting to the device. This will help with battery life and will also help with latency. What this also means is you can use either earbud by itself. You can use the left or the right depending on how your ear feels or if you want to swap them out because one's the running low on battery so there's that benefit now the gaming mode is essentially a mode that lowers the latency of the earbuds allowing there to be less lag between the sound and action you see on screen but I'm gonna get into that a little bit later what I want to do first is talk about my overall experience with these guys as earbuds and honestly it's been extremely disappointing sound quality wise these guys did not sound very good the sound wasn't very clean and it was tinny even bass was very meh and you do get the choice of those three like EQ profiles so you can swap through as a feature but honestly none of them really helped the sound at all as for comfort it wasn't the greatest in the world it's okay they never really have that feeling of disappearing on your ears like you kind of forget them at some point but once you're done listening to your music they're like present again it also might be because of the cush fins while they do help them stay in your ear a bit better i found them to be uncomfortable after about an hour or two so removing them is like an option but they won't stay in your ears nearly as well as when you have them so there is that battery and controls were at least decent as they advertise it to have six and a half hours of battery life. But for you and me, who probably will listen at higher volumes than medium, it'll last between five to six hours, which isn't really that bad, honestly. As for the controls, what I do like about the touch controls is you're able to adjust your volume, which a lot of well, true wireless earbuds don't let you do these days. Though they are touch controls, so as with many touch controls for earbuds, they're a bit finicky, and you you know kind of hear that tapping when you tap on your ear. Not the greatest sound to hear in the world, but you know, it's workable. Connecting with these guys, though, is a bit finicky, especially if you use multiple devices because you can only connect to one device at a time and if you want to switch devices you got to make sure any other Bluetooth device that has this connected has to be turned off otherwise it'll try to connect automatically with one of them so switching devices with this guy is not easy by any means this is definitely designed for like being connected to one device only exclusively and if you want to switch devices it's uh turn off your bluetooth on one turn on the other one switch it over but if you have a third device that's on and it remembers that one it might try to switch to that before you can even switch to the one that you're trying to turn it on to it's a uh, it's frustrating to say the least all right now the main feature you're waiting for which is gaming <sighs> Oh man, I was expecting a lot more when they were saying low latency. Now while these guys were technically designed for mobile only, I decided to use a cross platform just to, you know, just to see what would happen. I used it on my Android phone, my iPad, my Nintendo Switch with a little homo spot adapter thing, and my PC. And honestly, overall, the lag was, uh, it was noticeable. It was noticeably low, but it wasn't imperceivable. It was still there. In some cases, you kind of 
get used to it and you don't feel the lag because you don't notice it as much. But in games where split decisions are very important, that's not good. You don't want to get used to lag because that's how you get killed in those games, you know? That said, I wouldn't really call it low latency earbuds. They're more like lower latency earbuds. It's a good try, but not good enough, especially if you're gonna call them gaming earbuds. On the subject of gaming, I wanna get into like the gaming audio for this guy, cause some of you guys might be wondering, well, if they weren't good for music, maybe it's cause they were tuned for gaming. Uh, no, they were still pretty bad in the gaming aspect, especially in imaging, which is the whole positional audio, which is extremely important in like shooter games. You don't get a very good sense of the sound positions of everything when you're playing a game. You just have an idea that they're more to your left or more to your right and they might be somewhere in between but you're not exactly sure which is um very bad for gaming all right what about mic quality when you make calls and when you make chats on discord here's how it's gonna sound all right so this is how the earbuds are gonna sound when you're in a call or you're on a discord chat and uh yeah it, this is how it's gonna sound okay that's about standard it's not bad at all right but there's a caveat to that if you want to like chat while playing games say like on discord when you use the microphone on true wireless earbuds as in general as a whole they switch to a hands-free protocol not just for the microphone but also for the earbuds outputs when you're listening to it and when it switches to that protocol while you're able to finally chat with people your sound quality for the game drops dramatically to that same quality it drops to phone call quality it's not very good that's just the bluetooth thing is um, there's constraints to bandwidth when it comes to sending and receiving data and overall this disappointment will cost you 69.99 which means this is just not worth it for what it's being sold for. As a gaming true wireless earbud, this is a big fat no for me, unless it's on a deep discount. I don't even know if I can recommend it even if it was 50 bucks. There's just a lot of better sounding options than this out there. Also, if that device that you're gaming on is Aptex capable or Aptex LL capable, there's just a lot of better options out there in terms of latency as well. Now, if you're an Apple user, you're probably stuck to using AirPods and Beats because um, you got that proprietary connection with a lower latency with those guys. That's just Apple for you. Well, that's all I got for today. So. Um, um, like and subscribe if you liked the video, dislike it if you didn't like it. I guess I'll leave a link in the description if you really want it, but you know, I'm, that's just there if you want it, okay? Also remember to hit that notification bell to know when I'm posting next, and uh, guess I'll see you guys next time. I hope this has helped you save some money and not buy this thing and get something else out there. This has been Technical, I'll see you next time.